Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna take a look at a EcoFlow product. This is fairly new. This is the River 3 Plus with the expandable battery. All right, so before we get started, guys, I just wanna mention EcoFlow is doing a huge spring sale right now. So during this video, if you're interested in either one of these products or maybe some other EcoFlow products, I'll put some links in the description box below along with some discount codes. They're doing a great sale right now. So if you've been in the market for some EcoFlow products, Products, make sure you check those out. All right, so as you guys can see, the River 3 Plus, this is a 286 watt hour power station. Still really compact, lightweight. This comes in at about 11 pounds, so this would be great for camping. And then even when you add on the extra battery, you're still looking at about 18 and a half pounds. So this is still gonna be really manageable if you wanted to take this on a camping trip. Now EcoFlow provides you with two different options for the external battery. This is the EB300. This is another 286 watt hours that will be added onto the River 3 Plus, which is gonna give you a total of 572 watt hours. If you wanted to go a step bigger, they do have the EB600. That's gonna provide you with a total of 858 watt hours. So I really like how EcoFlow designed how their external battery attaches to their power station. Over here on the external battery, you can see some contacts there, and those are gonna plug right into the bottom of the power station. Makes it really easy. You don't have to use any wires or anything. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how easy this is. There is a little clip right here you're gonna go ahead and put the front of your EcoFlow power station right on that clip and then just let it sit down and it clips right into place. Now, if you wanna detach the external battery from the power station, there's a lever here. You're gonna press down on this lever and that's going to allow you to detach it. So if you just wanted to take this and not the external battery, then that's no problem. Once again, real easy and just clips right into place. So I really like how they designed that. So we'll go ahead and take a closer look at the River 3 Plus. As you guys can see right on the front there, nice clear display. I actually really like the new design of their display compared to the older models. Right below the display, you got two USB A's and a USB C. The USB C is gonna be rated for 100 watts. Over here, you have your 12 volt plug and you have an AC plug. Now this has a total of seven outputs. As you guys can see, there is only five on the front. So I went ahead and flipped it around, and as you guys can see, two more AC outlets on the back. So a total of seven outputs on this that you guys can use at the same time. You got separate on and off buttons for your DC and for your AC. And another feature I like about this is it incorporated a light right here on the bottom. Once again, great for camping. Go ahead and turn that on. And it's got a few different modes. So it's got low, high, and then SOS mode. On the back, we got this nice door that folds down. AC input there, you do get a cable. You got your solar input that can be used with solar panels or your car charger, 12 volt source. And then there is a communication cable. Now charging for this power station, it does have a one hour fast charge through AC. Through my testing, I got it to average right around 360. And for solar, we got up to 220 watts of solar input for this. As far as the output through AC, this continuously can run up to 600 watts and then it surges up to 1200 watts. I did some testing on this. I ran a heat gun to it, maxed it out at the 600 watts continuous and pretty much ran this until it died then overheat, then overload or anything. And actually the fans that are built in on this weren't loud at all. Now what I like about this EcoFlow is it has a technology called X-GAN power. So what that means is this is gonna run more efficiently with appliances that are 100 watts or below. If your power goes out, you can probably run a light off of this, like a lamp with an LED bulb in it. Those usually are about three watts. And this power station will last up to 35 hours. So I went ahead and did some testing on how long a light will last. So I got a work light here, it's plugged in, and it's showing right now that we got about eight watts. So if you guys look at the top there, that's saying that that's gonna last you about 20.6 hours. All right, so currently with the light on low, it's not even showing a wattage output. And right now it actually just bumped up a little bit. 
we're looking at 1.3 days. So this does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in the power station and you can run it to the app on your phone. So this might be a little bit easier to see on the phone, but right at the top there, you guys can see that it says a one day, seven hours, and we're at 98%. So another cool feature is you can use this with a built-in app on your phone just to be able to monitor what the power station is doing and you can actually turn the power station on and off from this phone so that's pretty nice to know that if you have a low wattage lamp you're going to get over a day of use out of this power station another way this would be useful in your house is using this as a ups so uninterrupted power source currently right now i have the ecoflow plugged into the wall through ac and then i have a work light here plugged in so right now the power station's charging as you guys can see we're getting about 269 watts inputted and then outputting is about 11 watts to the light over here so what i want to do next is unplug the power cord from the back of the power station simulating as if the power went out the light is still going to be plugged into the power station and we should not see this light flicker at all so we'll go ahead and unplug the power station and we'll see if that light flickers so there you go, simulated as if the power went out. Power station's obviously still on and the light did not flicker. So another good use scenario for this in the house would be hooking this up to your Wi-Fi router or maybe a computer so that if you do get a power outage, neither one of those go out. You can keep those up and running, especially like a computer so you don't lose any valuable information on it or it doesn't get corrupted. So one thing I did notice is I do not think that the external battery has Wi-Fi or Bluetooth built in because this will not connect to the app just on its own. So the only way I noticed that you can actually see how much charge this external battery has is by this light here on the front. And so I'm assuming when this is fully lit, you're at 100%. When it's halfway lit, that's 50%, so on and so forth. Along with the light on the external battery, you do have an on and off button over here and then a one USB-C, which is 140 watts. Now there are a couple different ways you can charge this. One, you can just connect the power station and run it through AC to an outlet. And another way that you could charge this is by using the USB-C port. So this port is gonna be output and input. So you'll be able to charge devices from this and also be able to charge this expandable battery through USB-C. Other than that, there are no more inputs or outputs on the external battery. So you cannot just plug this in with an AC cord to charge it. You will have to hook this up to the power station. All right, guys, so there you go. A quick rundown of the River 3 Plus along with the EB300 286 watt hour battery. So you're doubling your watt hours. And then you can also bump that up to the EB600, which is going to give you a total watt hours of 858 now the longevity of the power station it's rated at 3000 cycles so that should last you up to 10 years and ecoflow has a five-year warranty on the products and they're pretty good with their customer service and stuff like i said earlier they do have a good sale going on right now their spring sale i'll make sure i put links in the description box below along with i'll try to get you guys a discount code just to even cut that price down a little bit more let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hopefully you found some value in the video. If you did, smash that like button. If you guys like what I'm doing, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Till the next one, guys. I will talk to you later.